Jerry has to come up here and sit next to me, and then face the music. <laughs> Okay, and so whenever you want to do a rebuttal about what anyone has said, you can just take the microphone. <laughs> and, uh, you'll have about as much time as presidential candidate does. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, our California State Senator that represents so much of the Santa Monica Mountains and uh, so much of the Santa Susana Mountains and just about any mountain you can see around here, uh, Senator Stern represents. Uh, more importantly, represents the people who live in those mountains. So it's a great pleasure that I have to introduce to you Senator Henry Stern. I can over here. Go me there. Okay. I'll be. <laughs> though everybody knows you. I don't know how all these members of the legislature know who Jerry Daniel is, but um, it's even the young it's even the young ones uh, like me and Jesse Gabriel, but uh, people have been doing this a while. Uh, Anthony Portentino and Richard Bloom, um, and then Maria Elena DeRosso, who uh, represents the heart of LA. So it's a it's a very diverse group of people who represent basically the entire range of uh, what you envisioned. I still don't know how a kid from Chicago um, <laughs> figured out the value of what it is to look out from a mountain and not just see, you know, big lit up billboards and um, hotels and skyscrapers, but something raw and wild. And I'm just so grateful you did and that you moved your family out here and you built um, just this kind of empire of, of wildness. Uh, and you know, there's just so many places in LA that simply wouldn't exist um, without your work and your family's sacrifice and, and commitment. Um, I know your, uh, your wife and your son and uh, your daughter-in-law and your granddaughter are all here tonight. Um, and for the dinners that you weren't there and you were at a Hillside Federation meeting uh, or at a conservancy meeting working, thank you. And for the dinners you were there, inspiring your son, from what I hear from him, uh, that to be an Angelino is to love wildness in our lives. We talk about the wooey. Well, you put the wild in the wooey. Uh, otherwise, we'd just be ooey. And that, that wouldn't be any good. So thanks for putting the wildness in our lives, Jerry. And you've been a great mentor to me. So on behalf of the, the whole state of California, this, this is an official one. This isn't just one off the shelf. Um, we, we are just the latest generation in generations of leaders that you have shaped yourself. And I get to chair this resources committee now for the whole state of California. And when I make those choices, I go back to these meetings, sitting here late at night with all of you, figuring out how to make these mountains um, what they truly are. Um, and, and that's something beyond just a, a raw resource to develop or you know something to manicure. It's something different that wakes us up and makes us human. So thanks for always showing up and thank you for your time, Joe. And uh, Carly, so. Colby Harrington, representing Senator Ben Allen. I'm not, I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay behind you, Mr. Joy. 
Well, I'm not as particular as Senator, Senator Stern, nor do I, is my presentation as ornate and elaborate as his, but uh, I do have a certificate from State Senator Ben Allen uh, to commend you for your environmental leadership and uh, your conservation advocacy. Uh, so, the certificate reads, in recognition of your dedication to preserving the Santa Monica Mountains, Thank you for your tireless work to conserve this natural jewel and ensuring our future generations are able to enjoy these mountains. Your steadfastness inspires us all. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Council member Mary Sue Maurer representing the city of Calabasas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest city symbol, that hawk, floating over the mountains. I'm on this side, Terry. Oh, here oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> um, so I'm so fond of this man, and I have been since I joined the, the Conservancy. And, I think what I like most about you is um, you cut to the chase. You really want to get down to business and you call it like you see it. And um, I really have always admired that. And the fact that you're a Dodger fan, <laughs> such a Dodger fan, um, makes me adore you all the more. But I have a, um, a certificate also, but I think I'm going to take a minute to read it because there may be some people that are newer to the uh, organization that don't know as much about Jerry mm -hmm. or sitting in the audience. Oh, I like um, and all five council members signed it, which is a rarity for all of us to agree. <laughs> <laughs> and mine is the one with the XO, XO, XO. <laughs> Whereas Jerry Daniel has served the Santa Monica Mountain Conservancy longer than any other member in the organization's history, representing Los Angeles County Supervisors Ed Edelman, Zeb Yaroslavsky, and Sheila Kuehl. Whereas Jerry served a record three times as the Conservancy's chairperson. I'm sure if I get something wrong here, he'll tell me. <laughs> Whereas during his tenure, Jerry has participated in the acquisition and dedication to the public of over 50,000 acres of open space and parkland, including the Upper Las Virginas Canyon open space, Ramirez Canyon Park, Vista Hermosa Natural Park, Santa Clarita Woodland Park, and my favorite, the King Gillette Ranch. And whereas in addition to his work with the Conservancy, Jerry has also served on the board of the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority, the Valley Leadership Institute, and on the board of directors of nonprofit organization Tree People. And whereas Jerry also served as the chair of the Federation of the Hillside and Canyon Associations and was named the Federation's first chairman emeritus. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Calabasas hereby recognizes Jerry Daniel for his outstanding service and contributions to the city and all of Southern California. Mm. We adore you. Oh. And now, Elise Buckley Weber, City Council of the City that styles itself as, oh the, as the gateway <laughs> of Santa Monica Mountains. The Elise. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cute. Now that Joe Edmondson says that we must be the gateway to the San Juan. Jerry, I want to just tell you that it gives me a great honor. I'm fairly new to this group. I only came onto the advisory committee about seven or eight years ago. But it's been such a pleasure to watch you work. All of the residents of the city of Agora Hills have benefited from your purchase of open space and what you've done for our community. We can't thank you enough. Big shoes to fill. I have every confidence that Fran Pavley is just the perfect person to do that. Um, I too agree with uh, Mary Sue that first of all, 
I'm so impressed, besides all of the work that you've done, that you're on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you're on Facebook. That's pretty amazing. And honestly, what you've taught me about being a Dodger fan, because I, when they lose, I just throw up my hands and say, forget it, I'm moving on to another team. But I look at you on Facebook, and you have show true passion for a team and true passion, and you've stayed with them all these years, and I'll tell you, I'm impressed. So thank you for all that you've done for all of Southern California, and especially for the city of Agora Hills. Here's a proclamation. I won't read it because I do think that, and especially now that Mary Sue has read hers, that um, everybody here knows what you've done, and we can't thank you enough. So thank you so much, thank and you. enjoy your retirement. Thank you. <laughs> So Mayor Garcetti wanted to be here, and then something happened, you know, along with 405 <laughs> Freeway. Priorities. And, right. uh, so well, I've known Garcetti for a long, long time. <laughs> and, and so he said, we're going to have to have Alan Kishbaugh represent me. And Alan, of course, represents the mayor of the city of Los Angeles on the advisory committee. So Alan. All right, Alan. Oh, he's got another award. <laughs> actually, there aren't enough to honor you, actually. You should have hundreds and thousands of them. Um, I followed Jerry into the Hillside Federation. We've known each other for 30 years. I followed him into that uh, as the president of Hillside Federation, and then I followed him onto the advisory board of the Conservancy. And then it's been my honor to have been mentored by Jerry, to have had those warm years of many, many years of friendship. And uh, I learned an awful lot from this man. And uh, this is a proclamation, actually it's a certificate of, rec of recognition from uh, dated October 28th. And it's from Mayor Eric Garcetti. It says, as mayor of the city of Los Angeles, and on behalf of his residents, I proudly join the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy to honor and give recognition to you on this momentous occasion of your retirement. <coughs> I offer my sincere appreciation and recognition of your achievements and numerous professional accomplishments. I commend and thank you for your service to the citizens of the city of Los Angeles and extend best wishes for a happy, healthy, and prosperous retirement. Signed, Eric Garcetti, Mayor. You, you will never retire, <laughs> and I hope you don't. So uh, Rory Skay, our Chief Deputy Director, a little memento. And, and this is a different, I think Supervisor Parks also. But this is from our from Ken Nelson and our fire division. They figured you needed to have a, a fire hat. <laughs> <laughs> MRCA fire hat. Oh, it's got my initials. <laughs> Supervisor oh. Linda Parks. <laughs> to you. I will miss you. But we have on behalf of the County of Ventura a proclamation because as you all know this is Jerry Daniel Day, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat. So even in Ventura County and I'm here representing Ventura County to say thank you. One of the best open space acquisitions we've had is the Amundsen Ranch also known as the Upper Las Virginas Canyon Open Space Preserve. <laughs> and just really want to thank you for all the lands that you have been involved in in preserving. You really get it. I'll just read two of the whereases since we've heard many of them. Whereas Jerome Jerry Daniel has been a long term, long time supporter and advocate for the beautiful Santa Monica Mountains and surrounding open space since moving to Los Angeles from Chicago in 1963 and has spent many decades at the forefront of efforts to preserve the natural beauty 
of the region for generations to come. And whereas in 2011, Jerome C. Daniel Overlook was named in honor of Jerry Daniel for his passion and commitment to preserving the majestic beauty and accessibility of our local mountains and parkland. And on October 28, 2019, Jerry is once again recognized and celebrated for his many years of service to Los Angeles and Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you for your advocacy and your stewardship of open space. Thank you. Well, Jerry, since you're no longer one of my bosses, <laughs> uh -uh. The truth will get out. <laughs> so, um, I may not be the most avid sports fan, and uh, my, you know, my big joke with uh, Jerry is, that, you know, when will the Dodgers win the Stanley Cup? <laughs> not likely. Uh, so I've been to, you know, a baseball game three times in my life. The first time, Jerry said. You know, Joe, you just got to go to a baseball game and, 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 you know, come with me. I've got an extra ticket. And so we did. And with uh, Jerry's son, who was very compunctious about, you know, scoring everything. And, uh, I don't know. At that time, I asked Jerry about the infield fly rule. And uh, I think I could understand quantum mechanics before I understand the infield fly rule. But Jerry explained it. And... Fortunately, I never had to use it. Uh, so, but this was way, way, way. I mean, we were closer to the Santa Monica Mountains than we were to, to first base. And so you could hardly see the field. And worse, worse than that, it was a long way to the hot dog stand. So uh, next time I said, okay, Jerry, I'm going to buy the tickets. And I, you know, spring for, you know, pretty good, Pretty good seats. Uh, did the Dodgers win that second time? I don't really remember. I don't remember either. I remember <laughs> though that the fans really didn't care because it was this wonderful uh, expression uh, and Dodger blue was all over. And I'm thinking, okay, I got it now. This is a this is a civic institution. Then uh, the third time that we went. We were very close to the hot dog stand, and I spent all my time in the hot dog line. I was very happy with the outcome. I don't know who won that game either, but uh, you know, good stuff. So, uh, and as you know, we both get older. The advantage of being closer to the hot dog stand is you're also closer to the men's room. So we've had a good we've had a good run uh, with sports. And more than that, uh, Jerry has had a good run as running meetings with contentious uh, citizens and everybody seeming happy that uh, at least they were being paid attention to. And the very first meeting that Jerry had chaired of the advisory committee was way back when, I think it was 1980, whatever it was, that we uh, had the plan to get folks from uh, Pueblo de los Angeles State Historic Park, which is actually part of the Santa Monica Mountain Zone, uh, in to uh, connect with uh, the Rim of the Valley Corridor and Griffith Park and Legion Park. And the plan was to do it along the LA River. At that point, people were not talking about the LA River. And uh, we thought it was, a, it was a very good idea. And there was a lot of equestrian use of that property, still is. And the uh, community around there, though, said, if you're going to be encouraging equestrians, you know what horses do, and we don't like the smell of horse poop, and we don't want that in our community. And uh, the late, great uh, Linda Palmer, who represented the equestrian community in the Santa Monica Mountains, she got incensed about it. And she said, you know what? I love the smell of horse poop. <laughs> and it's invigorating and wonderful. And so I'm thinking about how is Jerry going to deal with this? Half the audience doesn't like the smell of horse. And the other half thinks it's just wonderful. And so Jerry was able to placate both sides. I don't really remember how you did it. Everybody walked out of that hearing room thinking that Jerry either liked or didn't like horse. <laughs> to, to his great benefit, uh, everybody felt that they were heard. 
And that has been a hallmark of every time that Jerry has presided over a meeting, is whatever the outcome, people were happy with the chairperson. And there's a tradition we're going to have to keep it up. Uh, Jerry would always mention that this is the 450th, whatever it is, meeting of the Conservancy. And uh, for so many of those, you were there. So uh, we have a little thing. I don't have a resolution. Uh, but I think everybody agrees the most beautiful view of the city of Los Angeles <laughs> is from the Jerome C. Daniel Overlook. Oh. And oh. I want you to yes. proudly display this in your home and for everyone to see that we have in perpetuity named the most beautiful view of LA in honor of Jerome C. Daniel. <laughs> First, I want to I want to thank Jean and Aaron Herb and Aaron because they make they take movies at at the Overlook and, and they've done it a couple times and um, and of course my my dear friend who's sitting behind me Sylvia Lezak who's a it's almost like a sister to me and to my wife. And, and of course, my, my dearest friend, Davida Christie. <laughs> Whoever she is. And Jim Hassenauer, who's also very close to me and has been for many years. And of course, my, my, my granddaughter, Sarah, and, and his wife, Kim. And of course, my son, David. <laughs> and my, of course, my, my wife. And I'd like to thank Steve Barris for being here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know everybody's name, especially the new people. And, and you're in for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I hope it's a good one. Uh, let me see. Is Craig here? Oh, Craig, there he is. I want to see him. <laughs> and of course, Linda's here. And James Uranian is here. Where's James? Oh, there he is. <laughs> and of course, Rory. And Joe. And there's a couple of, I think there's a couple of uh, MRCA Rangers here. Are they still here? I don't think so. I think they're all here. They had to go back. That's, that's about it. Um, I, I know Joe mentioned that first meeting when we met along the railroad. Was it along the, along, was it along the railroad tracks? Or no, was it along the river? And I remember that, um, that people weren't too thrilled about doing that. <laughs> and um, I spent eight and a half years as chairman of the advisory committee. And most of those years I was chairman. And after that I was elected or appointed to the conservancy. 
by um, who was it? Um, who was it? Ed Edelman. Ed Edelman. Yes, thank you, Joe. And after that, it was um, who came next? Zeb. Zeb. Um, who was it? Zeb. 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 Oh, it was of course. I could remember good. It came Zeb Yaroslavsky, and then of course it came my my current appointer, which was Sheila Kuehl. And uh, I, I, I can't tell you how wonderful this event has been. And I really can't appreciate it any more than possible. Special, nice seeing Tim and Wendler. I, I don't, I, I'm, 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 if you for such a world, I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> and, and I, I just don't remember everybody's name. Let me see. I... Well, Jerry, I'm going to save you from hell when you get home, because <laughs> I'm going to call up Darlene. Okay. Come here, Darlene. Yeah. What a dynamic duo. <laughs> You want to contradict anything, Darlene? Say a word. I'd like to say a few words. Say a word. <laughs> On behalf of, of Jerry's family, I would like to thank you all for creating such a wonderful mission of good works. You have inspired Jerry's love as well as his drive to help you. Going back to you, Joe, with the vision and the legislation that created the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy. It was Jerry's great joy to aid you in doing that. And his admiration for the awesome people who you drew around you to deliver these successes. I remember Peter Strauss Ranch and I remember the Augustus Hawkins Park, Urban Park, which I don't think were mentioned earlier. And I remember Jerry coming home from Ranger graduations and his appreciation of the educational program and what it means to people who otherwise would not experience these natural wonders that we do have preserved, thanks to the good work that all of you do. And so, on behalf of Jerry's family, please accept our deep appreciation for all that you do and the place you've made for Jerry to join you in that. Thank you. Madam Chair, with your indulgence, so uh, we might have a moment of open mic here if anyone else would like to address the board on this uh, on this topic. Well, Jerry, uh, your carpool will miss you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we spent many years carpooling, Jerry, and uh, it was always a great conversation back and forth uh, to River Center, et cetera. But we learned a lot and uh, we understood how much each person around the dais here is able to contribute and make these Santa Monica Mountains uh, as great as they are. And I go back to 1990 with you on the advisory committee and I can remember when we met separately from the Santa Monica Mountains Conservancy Board and when we wouldn't get enough advisory committee members to attend, the next week, you and I, and I think um, Colleen Breyer Schmidt would get on the phone and call some of our members and remind them how important it was for them to show up for the next meeting. So anyway, it's been a great time serving with you, and may you, Darlene, and family 
have a blessed uh, rest of the years. Thanks for all that you've done, Jerry. Thanks for all that you continue to do. And thanks for all that you will do in the future. When Jerry and I would have a conversation afterwards at the next meeting, I would get a book to read <laughs> about the topic we had just discussed. <laughs> it was an ongoing education, and I thank you for that. Yeah. Mic there. Why don't you get the other mic? Else? Oh, here we go. Jerry, you're the best. Everybody knows that. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Jerry, and thank you. And uh, I'm sure you're rooting for the Hoosiers, too. <laughs> thank you again for your service, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry, and go Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I remember uh, some funny jokes that were, were um, uh, sometimes inappropriate at uh, uh, dinner before uh, a meeting out at King Gillette Ranch, and I thought, man, that guy is funny. <laughs> yeah. I wish you very much. Good retirement, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jerry, but uh, I'm also a Padre fan, so I'm, have so, <laughs> I'm from San Diego area. So, Jerry, thanks for thanks for always being a wonderful mentor and all of your advice and friendship. And go Dodger Blue! Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry, for your inspiration for a newbie like me. And as the newest member of the carpool, I wish you a best play at our ride stand town. And I wish you all the happiness in the world for now. I just am very honored to have sat in this um, advisory committee uh, during the time that you were here. Jerry, I just want to thank you for all of your guidance and mentoring throughout the years. I also want to thank you for all of your updates during the meetings as to the Dodgers score. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, the meetings just won't be the same without you. I hope you'll come and visit. Once again, thank you so much for your dedication uh, to this body. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry, my wife grew up in the Santa Monica Mountains. My children grew up in the Santa Monica Mountains because of the work you did. Thank you. Jerry, I'm going to give my own thanks to you first. Um, I've been coming for seven years, first for Senator Lou and then for Senator Portantino, and I learned a lot from you, but both of those members also always really, really appreciated your dedication and you mean a lot to all of us. Thank you. Jerry, thank you for helping to protect and preserve our beautiful Santa Monica Mountains and I look forward to keeping in touch with you because we're also Facebook friends. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy your time off and we'll be in touch. <laughs> Hi, right, Jerry, I'm new to this uh, conservancy for about a year, and, and I'm just happy to serve beside you for that one year. And I want to thank you for preserving, along with the many folks here who served on this conservancy, along with staff and Joe, because indirectly you guys serve so much, preserve so much in protection of so much cultural sites of our tribal people here, who are Fernandinho, Chumash, and Gabalinia people, and places that we can go back to and see these beautiful landscapes and so the nature of beauty we all share in that same you know atmosphere all together so I thank you for your generation generations of work and time that you put together so thank you very much hi Jerry known you for about 40 years I know I can't replace you <coughs> but I will do my very best 
to protect your legacy. Best wishes to you and your family. I probably shouldn't say this, but you're Mr. Consistent, and the, why I shouldn't say this, Lou Gehrig, you know, is Mr. Consistent, the streak of attendance is, is just unparalleled. So I always remember going left or right, there's going to be Jerry. So, and one thing is, I make sure I come because I don't want to hear it from you later. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I have expressed my appreciation, Jerry, and um, wonder if I can join you with uh, words with friends like uh, Mr. Cash and others. <laughs> Jerry, I need a carpool from Whittier. <laughs> but I made the two hour trek to be here just for you. I even told uh, Sylvia that I even got dressed up just for you. Jerry. <laughs> so uh, whatever, obviously everything that we do here follows in your legacy. And that's your greatest gift. Thank you so much. Jerry, one of the, one of the great pleasures I had coming to these meetings was uh, uh, sharing dinner with you, talking Dodgers. That was fantastic, and I think Tim gave away the secret when we were whispering up here amongst each other, trying to figure out the score of the game. But uh, but that was fantastic. But I, I do want to say something. For as much as people talk about what you did in the mountains, um, you know, I want to talk about being from being a kid who grew up along the river all the work we've been able to translate and your flexibility and your vision and your embracing of the river has been absolutely fantastic because the river I got a chance to play in uh, will be much different for my kids from here forward. And a lot of that has to go to you and your support. So thank you. I'm going to miss you. Oh my gosh. Sherry, um, we first met when I was a staff person at Tree People and you were on the board. Mm -hmm. I've said this before. And we did projects together. And in those days, the board members did not connect with staff because they were up here and we were apparently down here. But you've talked to all of us, all of us and I just thought, what a wonderful man he is. And then one day you came and told me you're leaving because you're becoming the chair of the Conservancy. And I was so upset. Who the hell is this Conservancy <laughs> taking Jerry Daniel for me? But now I understand that your vision and your commitment is unwavering and I have to thank your wife and your family because family also is part of the journey when we serve on boards and commissions because we don't spend as much time with them and they understand and I want to salute this family especially his wife that I met this evening Jerry I'm gonna miss you you would get so happy when you were chairing the meeting and I didn't understand if it was the agenda item or if the, the Dodgers scored another run um, but when they're losing, you also make it very clear. So have a wonderful retirement. And when they're going up for the World Series again, I'm going to call you so we can talk about if they're going to win that time or not. So I'm going to miss you from todo corazón, señor. Any other comments? Oh, we have a young lady. Yes, I'd like to say something. Okay. I probably know um, Jerry for the shortest amount of time of anybody in this room. Okay, I'm Sylvia Lezak, and I'm a family friend. Um, I have a friend. <laughs> I've known this man for maybe two, three years. I'm not real sure. He and I uh -huh. have become dear, dear, dear friends of mine. Um, I would tell you that Jerry is probably one of the most gentle men I've ever known. He is a truly gentleman. Um, I just love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, Jerry, it's time to pack up all your goodies. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I need a microphone. I like one. Should we give you a golden one or will this one do for This one will do. Okay. First, I want to. I'm just, as I've said it before, I'm just overwhelmed by all these people who have come just for this purpose. Um, the only person who's not here who I wanted to come is a, is Laurie Collins. Everybody remember Laurie Collins? Because 
She lives way east, and it's hard for her to get here. And uh, of course, uh, everybody else has been mentioned. Um, oh, the other person I'd like to remember is our our other board member, Dave Zamansky. <coughs> there were a couple of um, couple of rangers who are still here. I don't know if they are. I don't think they are. A little fire, and they have to be tending to that. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. 